All right, so the floor is lava, but Eva, Eva, Ida has discovered his secret technique from generation to generation. Oh, damn, I don't know. Whoa, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Is he gonna beat me with some new move I've never seen? From the way things are going, I don't know if you will see it at all. So fast. Oh, dead. I don't, wow, what is happening? No match for this attack. Clearly, I mean, I s severely underestimated Ida. I mean, I love the guy, but that, uh, yeah, that level of speed is just a whole different thing. I feel like this may be stretching it a little bit just for, for effect, because this is sort of like Ida's moment to, sh to shine. Because if it's at this level, I mean, it's not even about like being slightly faster than your opponent and beating them to a move. It's just annihilation. They can't act. I feel a little bit dumb for like not realizing the possibilities of this quirk, the speed quirk. To be honest, up to this point, it's felt sort of like, eh, you know, like he can go fast, real fast, you know, but no, he can go real fast. <laughs> That's what I was missing. Honestly, it's exciting because I love Ida. It would be great if he has a quirk that is able to contend with some of the cooler visual quirks, which I mean, the way they're representing it here is pretty, pretty, pretty great. It has shades of some of the moves Endeavor did in the season four finale. I can't control it completely. Well, that's reassuring. <laughs> I, I mean, look at this! Look at this! Who could dodge this? No one. Dead. You're just dead. You're under arrest, villain. <laughs> and through it all, doesn't lose the role play. It's not the best idea to leave you in the wind, but I don't think I can stop him. I'm seeing like a great tag team formulator, a trio of Mirio, Darkness Guy, and Ground Swimming Guy. He probably left to support his teammates. Match three conclusion with a huge victory for Ida. That's the title of the episode. I love how Uraka, uh, Uraka so consistently supports Ida. It's so great. You gotta love the attention to detail and like the relationship web of this show. You know what I mean? Uraka's always sort of been like a great Ida supporter and I kind of love it. Right, he's fighting like Drill Mega Man. Those support items of his will rip me to shreds. Kaibara's gotten brutal. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely holding back. I feel like it, it would be deadly if he actually was attacking. Gotcha now! Speaking of deadly. Ida's is all over the place. He's like fighting all four Team B members at once. Help the others, Ojiro. My man's probably <laughs> heading toward them. I'll be back. Yeah, you got it. He's already gone. He's well on his way by now. Silence, fiend. I think that one of your ill ghosts. I'm just loving this. I'm loving this Ida shine. If I compromised my ideals in training, I'd likely do so in a real fight as well. You're a real stick in the mud. That's yeah, what was beautiful about Ida. I hear that often. But he's so much more than that too, you know what I mean? Honestly, it's remarkable. I feel like just about anyone, just about any personality type, no matter what that personality type entails, can be really alluring based on the level to which the person just knows themselves. He is totally sick in the mud and he's totally a goody two-shoes in class, but I love the guy to death and a large part of that I think is that he just is who he is because that's who he wants to be. You know, it's not like this inherited thing. It's not based on fear. He's not trying to take other people down by being an authority. He's not doing it for attention. He just deeply believes in in these values he feels a sense of responsibility for his class and for his his title his powers and so there's like no wasted space and there's nothing about it that comes across as phony or antagonistic you know what i mean so his classroom antics and personal eccentricities just make me love him more not less i just feel like if you know who you are and why you are that way and it's a, a choice, largely. And you can really accept it, even if those things are different from the norm. There's a power in that that nobody can touch. And I don't know, I just feel it when Ida says, yeah, I've been told that. You know what I mean? He knows. And he's Engineum. And he's going to be running down these halls with a smile on his face at, at light speed, it seems. Ah! Meanwhile, Tetsu Tetsu being Tetsu Tetsu. Speaking of knowing yourself, Todoroki goes smash. So manly. Yeah, Kirishima is, of course, motivated by his mirror image. Nothing's gonna stop my steel fist of justice! But I feel like Tetsu Tetsu crosses a line, or can cross the line. If he goes all the way to this smashing obsession, where he'll actually win, you know what I mean? Still don't get why I'm your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be obvious. Your quirk has zero effect on me! Again, breaking the Pokemon rules. Whoever spent time inside an oven? <laughs> Whoa, no I have not. I can't say I have. Yet. I forged my steel into but there's a move lurking. There's a move lurking that Endeavor has taught him. <laughs> they punched him right in the flashback. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Flashbacks are contained in the stomach. Only thing to do now is keep punching until you're KO'd. Thank you for that exposition. <laughs> what he said to me. Why am I remembering it now? You know what you gotta do. We all know it. It's yours. 
your quirk, not his! Damn right. More. Ooh, this is very Endeavor-like, isn't it? Yeah, he's got that in him. Burn myself if I have to. I understand why he wanted to keep it contained. Who I want to be. Ooh, very, very cool. Very interesting. They do such a good job of, like, showing that it's right on that line. I mean, we all know that he's Endeavor's son, and we all know that they have the same quirk, but that took it to more of an intriguing level, which is, like, the sort of emotion and personality that's connected to the quirk, which we also know has not been the best thing for Endeavor or anyone around him. But all the same stuff still applies. It is his quirk. Deku is 100,000% right. And I feel like because of that connection, there, there's a really satisfying resolution to be had where Todoroki is able to be really great. you like truly great and be at the maximum level of this power that Endeavor has always known he has and that Endeavor, you know, possesses in large measure, but has learned enough from his childhood experiences and his introspection to just skip that, right? Like skip the whole Endeavor terror phase of life and just be the next and better iteration of that where he's just great and also kind you know it's just huge metaphor there that i'm always gonna love that has come up a lot in this channel about our traits whether unique to us or inherited from our parents not necessarily ever being positive or negative but being of varying degrees of, of greatness or terribleness depending on how they're applied and that's a large part of the journey of life, I think, you know, it's like you are the way you are, basically, or at least we definitely have natural tendencies. And then speaking of knowing yourself, it's a matter of, well, with this baseline, how do I use it in a way that aligns with the person I want to be consciously? And speaking of having like two halves, I think two great ways to look at that simultaneously are things that we really want to avoid becoming that maybe we're conscious of through observing others or maybe observing our past mistakes, as well as things we want to become. And I feel like that sort of creates two points and those two points create a line, and that's a trajectory. And there's some element of destiny in that, it feels to me. Young Todoroki. <laughs> We're all seeing it, yeah. I'm holding all this heat inside of me, same as you are! I mean, props to Tetsutetsu though. Great episode for him as well. <sighs> Who do you root for? <laughs> Everyone's just so great. All my jokes about Class B losing every battle aside, I would not be upset if Tetsutetsu won. Our powers and the limits are there to be surpassed! It's time for you to shut up. <laughs> this does end up being a really great matchup. Tetsu Tetsu, you know, not having the, I don't know, the intricacies or nuances of Todoroki's quirks, perhaps, but having sort of the focus and will and self-assuredness that Todoroki struggles with. Sorry, Tetsuko. I never look at the octopuses in the aquarium. They are not cute. You gotta uh, insult his appearance. You may be good with those horns, but they're no help to you if you can't shoot them. This is how you can! Right, I've been told that she speaks English, right? You go support Toto. Oh, there's swimming immaterial boy. Fist of the tail! Swamp smack spin! There you go. There's some power escalation. Go beyond that limit. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna pass out. Now harden. Hey, I forgot about Ida. That was my, my my biggest mistake so far. Shouldn't you be worried about saving that guy? The coolest person He's still can thinking about it. Helps others. He's still thinking about it. I'll return for you, villain. Rescue first. My priority is rescue. <laughs> Man, he's ready. Ida's just ready. If I black out, the things I softened will go back to normal. We'll lose fair and square. But... <laughs> I mean, they're all just doing such a great job. Like, they're all such a, so amazing. Tetsu Tetsu, quickly push this! I see you went to the Prometheus School of Running Away From Things. Go sideways! Sideways! <laughs> no, it's, it's too big a moment for Ida to have been crushed by that. The four of them are down! Oh! Oh! Just a... a <laughs> Test of will at this point. Who can stand? No, I believe in you, Ida. If only I'd been a little better. <laughs> a little better, Ida. Come on, my dude. Good job, Kaibara. You're definitely the MVP of this round. The one-sided comment. Oof. Is that. Worse. Yeah, that that just took bias to a new level. I'll go higher than he can reach and wait this sucker out. Oh, she can like fly with her her horns. They won't win, but they won't lose. The oh, there's a time limit. Is this gonna be a draw? Twenty minutes have passed. The third match is over. 
Each team put one person away, so it's we a draw. got ourselves a draw. That is a really bold choice, I gotta say. That's a super bold choice. I respect the hell out of that. I've been making a ton of jokes about a class 1A sweep, and that's largely because I just love class A and, and bias, speaking of bias. But in this episode, I feel like class B earned it just as much, and I'm kind of in love with Tetsu Tetsu. But it's such a bold choice because this is like a, a Todoroki Shine episode, as well as an Ida Shine episode, but it's still not enough, which is just how it goes sometimes. This I feel, is how you do this simulated battle sequence right. I just feel great. <laughs> That's the end of the sentence. I don't need there to be a winner necessarily. I just like what I saw from them, all of them. There's just so much great stuff going on. Ida, Todoroki, Tetsu Tetsu, just being amazing people. That's why we're here, right? Poor Ida. Look at all these humans and their so weaknesses. Yeah, but... This is nothing to be upset about. There is nothing to be upset about. Except for, like, not knowing how to run sideways. The match was a draw, but I feel like I lost the head-to-head -head fight. That he was insanity. Let's do it again. <laughs> you gotta love his attitude. He's just fun. If only I'd been faster. We'd have claimed victory. Ida. Tell him, Todoroki. I mean, he was basically carrying the whole team on his back. It's become a habit to use ice as my opening move. He's like it's predictable. Like it's in my body. Right, big wall of ice. I'm the one who's slow. Let him know, Ida. <laughs> I want to be a hero who brings people peace of mind. Speaking of no, going for what you want, your dreams. You hey, it wouldn't be an Ida episode without the, the arms. Speaking of, like, relationship webs, these two have a, a really, really fantastic one. Class A and B both have one. Win. This I'm actually looking forward to. Because no he talks to talk. Say you're better than us. Maybe he can back it up. If I were Bakugo, I'd be pretty worried about now. <laughs> this voice actor does a great job. So it's Bakugo's turn. I sense a Just teamwork lesson Deku. here, perhaps. Always an issue. Prepare for battle. Interesting, like, screenshots of their faces with Class A not looking so convicted right now. I feel like in many ways, this will be a tonal <laughs> opposite to what we just saw, where everyone is just so amazing and on the same page and, like, helpful and supportive and loving and non-murderous. So this was hands down my favorite battle so far. There's just so many great things to, to take away from it. That's really what I'm here for, you know, with the quirks. Like, for me, it's about the characters and their growth and... The quirks, I think, are, are sort of this genius way of exploring personality or just natural tendencies in, in the characters in visual battle form, you know what I mean? And there's just so much greatness with Todoroki, so much to relate to and aspire for, and Ida as well. And then, like, that would have been enough, right? It would have been enough to have had a standout Todoroki episode and Ida episode. Even one of those would have been fine. But then it escalates it even further by having Tetsu Tetsu be the man and using what initially seems like a weakness, you know, his, his hard-headedness and his stubbornness and his desire to just punch punch his way to victory into like actual power and talent and it's funny because i sort of intuited that i feel like you can take it that to a next level right like there's like will right and a certain amount of that is great then there's being too willful and that gets you into trouble it gets you into all sorts of messy situations where you just get wrecked then i feel like there's another barrier you can break through where it's like you're just the ultimate will and it doesn't matter what situations you get into it doesn't matter what messes you're into because you have ultimate will and tetsu tetsu sort of went through that that cycle in this episode he went from being sort of ridiculous to biting off more than he can chew to like actually being strong enough to rise to the challenge of an endeavor style attack you know which is pretty awesome and then there's also the other guys they're cool <laughs> pony is there Mudman also doing a great job being really awesome that was a really really great scene of him fighting the urge to black out just pulling that one final thing out of him in order to secure the tie that i feel like is a way to do this so that there's no small players i feel like i owe class b an apology i was sleeping on them a little bit early in this arc but no they can bring it and it's not done in a way that feels you know sort of wishy-washy or yeah everyone's great you know no it's earned i feel so yeah now we go into the bakugo battle which i feel like will be very interesting for very very different reasons mm -hmm.